Hi guys, welcome back to another episode of Listography. Today we are talking about Pearl Jam. Uh, Pearl Jam, of course, coming out in the early 90s, part of the Seattle grunge scene. Um, they've got 10 albums out to date, so let's uh, dive in. Uh, number 10 uh, from 2013, uh, their most recent record, Lightning Bolt. Uh, to be honest, I never listened to this album a whole lot. Uh, I gave it a few spins when it first came out. And I listened to it a bit uh, leading up to making this video. Um, it's not a very memorable record. I'm not a big fan of the mix. The bass is very loud. The guitars are really quiet. Uh, and with the guitars being so quiet, um, the songs don't hit that hard. The album doesn't have a lot of energy. Um, a few songs that I do like, I like Infallible, Swallowed Whole, and uh, Sleeping By Myself. Uh, but moving on, number nine. From 2002, the album Riot Act. Uh, this is not a bad record. Um, probably a half dozen songs or so on here that I like a lot. Uh, unfortunately, the other half of the songs um, feel more like filler or just second-rate Pearl Jam songs, not up to their usual quality of songs that make it onto their albums. Um, but I like Can't Keep, Save You, Love Boat Captain, I Am Mine, uh, You Are, and I think Thumbing My Way is probably one of the best ballads that they ever wrote. All right, moving on to number eight uh, from 2009, the album Backspacer. Uh, it's a very good record, one of their uh, most immediate records, very catchy and melodic. Um, if anything holds it down on the list, uh, it would be the production. Um, it's a little overproduced. Uh, not that there's a lot of bells and whistles on the record, it, it just has a a sheen to it. It's kind of a little over polished sounding. Um, but I like the songs Gonna See My Friends, The Fixer, Force of Nature. There's a bunch of good songs on the record. But they've got a lot of good records. So um, a lot of competition. Uh, number seven going uh, with Verses from 1993. Um, this is a fantastic record. Um, a lot of their most well-known songs, classic tracks on this thing. Um, there are a few songs that I don't love that much, like WMA, Rats, Blood. Um, but the real, real reason that I put it a little lower on the list is because I feel like uh, Pearl Jam on this record is still a very young band, um, still kind of figuring out who they are and what their sound is. Um, you can call it grunge or whatever you want to call it, but they're still very much part of that early 90s uh, scene and that sound. And on future records, they would really develop um, a much um, more nuanced and sound that was unique to them. Um, so that's why I put this a little lower on the list. Um, but it is a classic record and a very, very good record. Number six going uh, with their self-titled record from 2006. Um, to me, this is a very, very strong record. A lot of good songs and a, a great comeback from the slightly weaker Riot Act. Um, this album has a lot of energy, a lot of aggressive guitars, but also some of their most melodic songs. Um, Life Wasted, Worldwide Suicide, Severed Hand, Marker in the Sand, Parachutes, Unemployable, Army Reserve, uh, all great songs. Um, just really, really solid record all the way through. All right, number five, going with their debut album from 1991, the album 10. This, of course, is a classic record. Every song on it's great, but it's number five on my list for similar reasons that I put Versus at seven. Um, this might be the record that people think of uh, the most when people think of Pearl Jam, um, but I think people who have followed their entire career um, will recognize later albums of theirs as being um, more interesting. Um, if you want the hits, you go for 10 or you go for verses, um, but if you want quintessential Pearl Jam, then I think um, the four records that I have ahead of 10 on the list are the ones you, that you want to reach for. At number four, I've got No Code from 1996. This was a sort of experimental and transitional record for them. Um, a lot more acoustic tracks on this record, slower songs, introspective and moodier songs. Um, 
There are a few songs that provide those blasts of punk rock energy, like Lucan, Hail Hail, and Habit. Um, but Vitalogy, the album before it, sort of started the process of uh, separating Pearl Jam um, from grunge and sort of developing their own sound, but with no code, they um, completely break um, from any sort of classification. And from this point on in their careers, I think they can only be defined as Pearl Jam. All right, number three on the list, going with Vitalogy from 1994. Um, again, another somewhat experimental record. Um, this is them sort of grappling uh, with their success and figuring out how to maintain their integrity. Um, they toughen up their sound on this record. It's darker, it has uh, a punkier sound than their previous two. Um, this is one of the few instances of a band really being uncompromising, um, but still having a hugely successful record. Um, hits on this album like Better Man and Nothing Man were huge, um, but I think with this album, Pearl Jam is really making a statement um, that they're not going to compromise and that they're um, going to do things their way. Songs like Last Exit and Spin the Black Circle, Not For You, um, are, are just really, really great. And then, of course, you've got the big hits, um, Better Man, Nothing Man, Corduroy, um, and songs like that that still gave them a lot of success on um, mainstream rock radio. Moving on to number two from the year 2000, uh, the album Binaural. Uh, this is kind of a continuation of uh, the record before, Yield, um, in that it has great songwriting, and a blend of all of the different elements that um, Pearl Jam have developed up to this point in their career. Um, it's a little bit punk, um, it's a little singer-songwriter, it's a little dark. Um, I think one of the things that gives this record its very unique feel is that this is the first Pearl Jam record to feature Matt Cameron on drums. He, of course, was uh, the drummer for Soundgarden before this. Um, and I think this is the best drumming of his entire career on this record. Um, songs like Breaker Fall, God's Dice, Evacuation, Light Years, Nothing As It Seems, Thin Air, Insignificance, uh, Sleight of Hand, Soon Forget, Parting Ways, just a really, really good record all the way through. Um, yeah, and one of their best. Uh, the only one I have ahead of it at number one is Yield. Um, again, similar to Binaural in that it brings in all of the different elements, um, the slower, introspective songs that No Code had, plus the punk energy that Vitalogy had, um, plus a sort of sense of, uh, a really good sense of songwriting and melody, um, songs like Faithful, No Way, Given to Fly, Wish List, uh, In Hiding, uh, Do the Evolution, just, just great, great songs on this record. And um, to me, this is the most um, definitive work of their careers. So yeah, that's it. That's the listography of Pearl Jam. Uh, if you like the video, hit like, subscribe to the channel, comment below, tell me what I got wrong. Um, tell me what your list would be, uh, and of course hit the bell for notifications. Um, thanks for watching guys, and we'll see you on the next one.